Well, uh, the significance of this is, there are certain substances when they burn. One thing is there is fragrance, of course, which is pleasant for the nostrils. And uh, incense burning is about the atmosphere, not about you. Because different spaces, indoors especially, in different spaces, there are different kinds of, one thing is smells, there's also different kinds of energy structures which will happen. The shape and size of the room will do this, this is why there is such a attention to the shape and size of the room. In Indian culture, there is a whole attention to the shape and size of the room in which you live. Because the shape and size of the room in some way, if it is not heavily ventilated, when I say heavily ventilated, from both sides, two walls are open and it's happening, then it feels almost like outdoor, that's different. Most homes are not made this way because uh, they have neighbors, you can't open too many windows, <laughs> too many openings won't work, there is weather, there are many things, all right. And there is air conditioning, worse. So, different shapes and sizes kind of create different kinds of energy structures. These energy structures can, if they become very strong, can determ determine your psychological and emotional state, which either can be conducive or can become an impediment in who you want to be. So, certain substances like sandal in India, there is something called as samrani, which is a very powerful thing, which is used even when people are ill. First thing they do is this, and it is now been found, it also kills certain types of bacteria in the air and also on the surfaces. So, especially if there is a sick person in the house, samrani everywhere. If they want to do some auspicious event, some running all over the place, it's a certain kind of resin, which uh, a, a tree drips. Well, uh, <laughs> in this pursuit of some running, you will see in the forest there are massive trees. People would have carved into the tree because the, the trees look solid outside, but inside there is a cavity. In that cavity, it will be dripping this resin. But people go and gather this. It's a precious little material. This has a powerful impact on the atmosphere. It is not necessarily a fragrance. It is a different kind of thing that it clarifies the air. It just makes the atmosphere feel more lively. Fundamentally, it Whatever structures that they are there, it will make indoor like outdoor. If you burn a mild, just mild samrani in the house, will make it feel like, though you're indoors, the feeling is of out outdoors because it's an un unstructured space. Incense has a certain impact, but don't overdo it. Don't think it'll determine your spiritual nature it can change the atmosphere a little bit. It should not be over uh, certified, it has certain impact. One can use it in a sensible manner, but these days incense is being made with chemical stuff. Best you don't burn those things. It's very, very important before you have enough chemical thing happening on the street, in the industry, in the factory floor that you may be working, wherever, there's enough chemicals floating around. At least within your house, do not burn chemically made incense because I think that is almost seventy percent or eighty percent of what's available in the market today is chemical. You must take it out before you burn it. It's uh, very, very important because within the closed enclosures, if you burn chemicals, well, the negative impact of that is very, very big. So it must be natural resin or certain other oils, essential oils and things which can make a difference. 
uh, a mild difference, if you need that kind of a difference, it, it helps definitely.